Welcome to UBC's SERS building. The Center for Interactive Research on Sustainability is an interdisciplinary academic center that is the focal point for sustainability research and operations at UBC. The SERS building is home to a wide range of UBC units, research groups, and industry partners. The design mandate for the SERS building was to create a regenerative building, one that would go beyond conventional sustainable design principles and one that would have a net positive impact on its environment and the lives of its human inhabitants. Within the building, passive design strategies are integrated with high-performance systems that use renewable sources and unique site opportunities. CIRS is on target to achieve late platinum and living building challenge recognition. Please head towards the building's main entrance and make your way into the main interior lobby area. Feel free to walk around in the main lobby and explore the building as the audio tour continues for this building. As you walk into the building's main lobby, notice the nice shadowing effect that the solar panels have in the atrium. The Sears building is the source of multiple research projects, as well as the subject of ongoing studies on the long-term effects of sustainable design, construction and operation, including the performance of wood structures over time. It is intended as a new baseline in sustainable design buildings at UBC for other projects strive to surpass. The Sears building was completed in 2011 and is 5,675 square meters in plan. It is a four-story U-shaped building that wraps around a large auditorium with a living roof courtyard on the second level. The two main wings of the U contain offices, labs, and workspaces, a cafe, and service spaces such as an ecologically-based reclaimed water treatment plant. All of these are connected by a four-story day-lit naturally ventilated atrium. One of the main reasons timber products were so heavily utilized for the construction of the Sears building is the fact that in 2009, the province of British Columbia passed Bill 9 2009, also known as the Wood First Act. The aim of the Wood First Act was to facilitate the culture of utilizing timber by requiring the use of wood as a principal material in any government-funded building. Building just like the Sears building at UBC. The design process began in 2008 and construction of the Sears building started in March 2009. The construction process finished in August 2011 and the Sears building was ready for the 2011 winter term at UBC. The Sears building was commissioned to the Vancouver-based architectural firm Perkins & Will. Meanwhile, the structural consultants hired for this project were Vancouver-based Fastenep consultants. The overall design emphasizes simple forms and materials, exemplified by the exposed wood and visible connections. The structure consists of a frame of rectangular Douglas sphere glue lamp columns and beams supporting a floor system of standard 2x4 dimensional lumber laid on end and gang nailed together and covered in a single layer of plywood. Lateral resistance in the Sears building is provided by two systems. Conventional plywood shear walls in the direction of the short spans of the building and by a moment frame system combined with spandrel panels in the direction of the long spans. The spandrel panels are constructed as a box beam made of dimensional lumber and plywood and are placed between the structural members along the exterior walls, just above the floor deck. This strategy optimizes the size and placement of windows in the exterior wall, creating opportunities for daylighting and direct control of natural ventilation, which in turn reduces the energy demand on the building. The structural connections are steel bolts and shear plates designed to allow for easy deconstruction at the end of the building's estimated 100-year life. Using wood as a building material 
was integral to the regenerative principles of the project. It is a renewable resource which provides multiple ecological services, creates comfortable interior environments, and sequesters carbon. As this tour stop is about to finish, take the time to experience the building. Reflect on what you see, hear, or feel. This is the end of the audio tour for the Sears building. For more information about this building, make sure to visit all of the features available on the website. Thank you.